Malubeka's innovation is made out of an old rechargeable light. What do I tend to achieve? First of all, it's reducing the cost uh, of electricity that has been that the fan uses uh, rapidly. Another thing is to help in a situation where uh, the power is off and the power is off and there is warmth within a house or a building. The fan is powered by an 8-volt lithium battery connected to the switch. Depending on what he wants, the fan can be powered directly or charged as it works. You can first recharge it and then it gains power within this battery. Then it will just be working on a battery. And it can also work on electricity by using this charger. Lubega. A senior Ford dropout who is now attending technical school explained the function of the capacitors and resistors on the fan's circuit board. The capacitors and resistors they are just to uh, to maintain and to maintain the actual voltage required by the motor to start the fan. The propeller was made from improvised plastic attached to a motor. At the positive timing of the motor received its, its positive power from the switch because all the switches uh, pass through, pass out positive voltage. The stronger the battery and the motor, the faster the fan will cool a hot place. The 18-year-old automotive engineering student sees a bright future. The first electronic fan was invented by Wheeler between 1882 and 1886, and later on, a ceiling fan was also invented and marketed by several American electronic firms. Although time has passed and many years have gone, still Wewuga believes his innovation could add value within the electronic industry in Uganda. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Innovation Nation. <laughs>